Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically share ebooks on receiving cash free payments. So, I am selling my ebooks with the help of Cash Free, which is an amazing payment gateway. And now, my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new payment by a new customer through Cash Free for ebooks, automatically the ebook should be shown as a PDF attachment to the customer through email. So, how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Cash Free Payments and Gmail, and that we are going to do without any coding programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles trigger and action. So in trigger we are going to take cash free and in action we are going to take Gmail and we will connect both of them in order to automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to share ebooks automatically with customers on receiving the payment for that same ebook through Cash Free. So, I have created a payment form in Cash Free for receiving the payments of ebook, and my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive the payment for the ebook from that form, automatically the ebook should be shared as a PDF link on email to the customer. So for creating this automation, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software with the help of which I'm going to set up a connection between Cash Free and Gmail and that too without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your premium account. Also, when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and now it has taken us towards the dashboard of Public Connect where we can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option let's do that and here a dialog box will appear in front of us which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all let us provide a name over here. Automatically share ebooks on receiving cash free payment. After giving the name here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow so I have created this folder for cash free automations. I want Want this workflow to be saved in this so i'm going to select that and now let's click on create so as we have done that we can find that two windows are open in front of us these are trigger and action so as i told you that public connect works on these two principles trigger and action so basically trigger and actions are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation of public connect works the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this that means the action is the response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want now let's suppose we are going to take cash free in our trigger and gmail in our action and our objective is that whenever we are going to receive the payment for ebook through cash free automatically an email should be sent to the customer along with the pdf link of the ebook okay so here we can clearly see that our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the payment is received by a cash free then only action also happens that means then only the email is sent to the customer along with the pdf of the ebook okay so after understanding the concept of trigger and action let's start creating the workflow step by step first of all we will select our trigger application and that is cash free so let's select that now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So we have created a form for receiving the payment. Therefore, our trigger event over here will be payment via form. So whenever a form will be submitted along with a payment, automatically the response of that form will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. Okay. So as we have done that, we can find that a webbook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow very carefully to connect our cash free account with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webbook URL from here, which is going to to act as a bridge for sending the data from cash free towards Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to take you towards my cash free account and this is the form which I have created for receiving the payment of ebooks. Okay. Now from the left side we can find the option of developer. So let's select that and here we have to go towards webbooks. So I'm going to click on webbook. Now these are the existing webbooks which are already created over here. Now to create a new webbook we have to click on this add webbook endpoint button. Let's do that. First of all we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect in this endpoint URL field. Okay. And then we have to select the webbook version so we have to select the webbook version which is latest now i'm going to click on test to send the test response towards public connect and as the test response is sent let's just click on next 
and here we have to select the events which we want to perform so our event over here will be success payment so because we want to receive the response of payment which is successful inside tabli connect therefore here our event will be success payment okay so as we have selected that now let's click on add web book and the webhook is added successfully so now i'm going to go back towards public connect and here we can find that yes we have received the test response now we are going to click on this recapture webhook response button as we have done that we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission by making the payment on the form which we have created so that the response of that form could be captured over here so i'm going to go back towards cash free we will go back towards the payment forms okay so this is my payment form i'm going to open the link of it and i'm going to open it in a new tab Okay, so this is the form. This is the image of the e-book which I have already inserted. The amount which the customer has to pay to purchase this book is five nine nine, and here the customer will have to make the payment after entering all the details. So let's start with the phone number. So basically, this is a test form which I have created. Now I'm going to go back towards Cash Free, and here you can see that I am currently working in test mode. So everything which I'm going to enter in this form, such as phone number, email ID, and all of the details, will be dummy and test details because I'm doing a test submission. Okay, so let's start with the phone number. I'm going to enter a random. dummy and dummy phone number over here now i'm going to enter a random email id of the customer let's say dummy user at the rate fabricuse.com here will be the name dummy user and now i'm going to click on pay so now i'm going to click on proceed to payment and i'm going to select a card because i'm going to use a dummy card details in order to make the payment okay so i'm going to select this test card all the details are added of the test card now i'm going to click on pay now and now here we have to enter the otp so because we are using a test card to make a test payment therefore this is a test otp i am going to copy and paste it over here and now i am going to click on stimulate success as we have done that we can find that the payment is successful this is the test payment now i'm going to go back towards pably connect and here we can find that as we have made the payment by filling up the form which we have created the response of that form is automatically captured over here this means that a work connection between cash free and pably connect is perfectly successful so now whenever we are going to receive a new payment in cash free by the form which we have created then automatically we are going to receive the response of that payment over here in pably connect as well so let's move further here our objective is to send the ebook whenever the payment will be received but here in my cash free account you can see that i have three forms over here so i may receive payment for any of the other product as well such as for this ngo donation for php course or any other such thing through different forms but whatever objective is our objective is to send the ebook only to the customer who has made the payment for that ebook otherwise no otherwise we do not want to continue this automation for that okay so to solve this problem we are going to apply a filter condition in our workflow so with the help of filter we are going to set a condition that only if we are going to receive the payment from from the form java ebook then the workflow should continue otherwise not okay that means because we want that whenever the customer is going to make the payment for java ebook then only we want to run this workflow otherwise not for that let's select our action application as filter and here we will select the action event that will be filter values so filter is an amazing inbuilt feature of pably which allows us to set the conditions inside our workflow according to our choice okay now let's click on connect After building the connection here, we have to enter the filter condition. First of all, we have to select our label, the filter type, and then the value. So in the label, we are going to select the form ID. So we have received all the details related to the payment and the form from Cash Free Response. We are going to search for the form ID. This is the form ID. We are going to use it in order to set the condition that in case if the form ID will exist in this particular response, then only the workflow should continue. Otherwise, not because we have created this form specifically for the Java ebook. Therefore, we want that whenever the payment will be made through this form, then only the workflow should continue. So we are going to select the form ID as the label, and because we have inserted this form ID from our previous response, that means it has become dynamic now. So we have mapped this form ID. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. When we map the data, it become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every new response that means now whenever we are going to receive a new payment via cash free automatically the form id is going to be replaced with a new id of that new form now the next we are going to select is the filter type so here our filter type will be equal to and we will simply enter the form id which we have received as the value okay so the form id is 4050497 so i'm going to enter the same over here 4050497 so whenever we are going to receive a new response from cash free and in the label the form id will appear but if the form id will not be equal to the value which we have entered over here manually then the workflow will stop here in this condition only but in case if the form id will be equal to the value which we have entered over here then the workflow will continue further and the ebook will be sent to the customer okay so we have set the condition now let's check this condition by clicking on the save and send test request button whether it is true or not and yes the condition is true because currently the form id is equal to the ID 
Andy, which we have entered over here. Now let's move forward. Here we are going to click on this add action step button. And finally, we are going to select Gmail to send the email notification to the customer along with the ebook PDF. Okay, so here we are going to select the action application as Gmail. Let's select that. And now we are going to select the action event that will be to send email. Okay, now let's click on connect because I've already built a connection with my Gmail account. Therefore, I'm going to select existing connection for now. But to create a new connection, you need to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on this connect with Gmail. As you will do that automatically your Gmail account will be connected with Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on save. And with this, we can see that Gmail is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. Here we have to first of all select the recipient email address. That on which address you want to send this email. I want to send the email to the customer and we have already received the details of our customer in our earlier response. So let's search for email. And this is the email of the customer, dummyuser at the rate publicutes.com. We have selected that and it is mapped. So as I already told you, that mapping makes the data dynamic. That means when we have mapped this data, it is going to replace with each and every new response now. So whenever we are going to receive a new payment by a new customer, automatically this email is going to be replaced from this field with a new email of that new customer. So in this way, we have automated the process by mapping the data. Now let's move forward. Here we have to enter the sender name. So what will be the name of the sender that who is sending this email to the customer? I am going to enter the name of my company. Let's say the name of my bookstore is Knowledge Bookstores. Okay, Knowledge Bookstore. This is the name of my store. I want to send the email with this name to each and every customer. Now I am going to enter the email subject that is Java ebook. Okay, and because I have entered the name of the sender as well as the email subject manually, that means it is going to be same with each and every new response. Now the next is the email content type, which will be plain. And here we have to enter the email content. So we are sending this email to the customer. Here I'm first of all going to enter hello. And I will simply map the name of the customer from my previous response. This is the name dummy user. Hello dummy user. And now I'm going to move forward towards entering the further content. So this will be the content of my email. Hello dummy user. Thank you for placing the order of Java ebook. Your payment is successful and we are attaching the PDF link of your ebook. Thanks and regards knowledge bookstores. So this is very basic content, but you can definitely customize the content according to your choice and your requirements. Now here we have to enter the file name and the attachment which we want to send along with this email. So the file name will be javascript ebook and here i'm going to send the attachment as well so i'm going to enter the link of that attachment over here so this is the link of the ebook which i want to share with the customer and because it is going to be same each time therefore i have not mapped it but i have entered it manually now let's click on save and send test request button and as we have done that, we can find that the email is sent. So let's go and check whether the email is received on the email ID, which we have mapped over here or not. And yes, here we can see that we have received the email Java ebook. I'm going to open the email and this is the PDF attachment. I'm going to open this. And yes, this is the ebook, which we want to share. This means that our workflow is successful. Okay, so let's go back towards Pabli Connect. And now what we are going to do, first of all, let us summarize what we have done here in the workflow. We have taken three simple steps, trigger and actions. In trigger, we have taken cash free and in action, we have taken filter by Pabli and Gmail. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive the payment for ebook via cash free, automatically the ebook will be sent to the customer via Gmail. And we have applied a filter condition that only when we are going to receive the payment with the specific form which we have created for receiving the payment of ebooks, then only the workflow is going to continue, otherwise not. So now after completing this workflow successfully, let's check this workflow once again. I'm going to go back towards cash free and I'm going to open the form link in a new tab once again. And now once again with another details, I'm going to make another payment let's start with the phone number email this is the email id here i'm going to give the name as let's say demo user i'm going to click on pay these are the dummy card details now i'm going to click on pay now and now here we have to enter the otp once again i'm going to enter the dummy otp over here and we will make the payment so the payment is made so as soon as we have made the payment now let's go and check towards gmail whether another email is received to the customer or not and yes, once again, we have received the email. Now I'm going to open this email. This is this time the email is for demo user and this is the JavaScript ebook. Okay, this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. So you can very easily create this automation by setting up a simple connection between cash free and Gmail so that you will be able to send ebooks automatically to the customers whenever the payment will be received via cash free. All right, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any 
any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.